He's been called Russia's Bob Dylan. Boris Grabinchikov and his band Aquarium have been rocking crowds like this one in Toronto for five decades. Making his American television debut, please welcome Boris Grabinchikov. That's him with David Letterman in 1989, just months before the Berlin Wall came down. Do the Russians know you're here? Uh-uh. <laughs> uh. But Grabinchikov's powerful voice has now been silenced in his own country. One day after Russia invaded Ukraine, Grabinchikov called the war Russia's madness and shame. In an interview with Global News, he doubled down. The evil sort of Z patriots crying, we kill the Ukrainians, and this is madness. Grabinchikov is now facing criminal charges in Russia and up to 15 years in prison. He has no plans to return anytime soon. But even outside Russia, the Kremlin's political opponents say they're not safe. I'm in a constant state of fear, says Russian political activist Artur Zaripov. A couple of years ago, Zaripov's anti-Kremlin protests landed him in prison. Arrested in dramatic fashion, accused of terrorism. After 18 months, Zaripov was released on house arrest and managed to escape the country. He's now living in Poland, but even there, he's been detained and eventually released four times. I found out that I was on Interpol's wanted list, he says. European countries know Putin is a liar. I don't understand why they're still cooperating with Russia through Interpol. Interpol is the world's largest international police organization, with 195 member states. But Russia is single-handedly responsible for a whopping 38% of all public Interpol red notices. And critics say the Kremlin is abusing the system to hunt down its political opponents. Following the invasion of Ukraine, Canada, the U.S. and others called for Interpol to suspend Russia. In a statement, the agency says its constitution calls on the organization to maintain police cooperation and ensure communication channels remain open. Nor is there any provision in the constitution for the suspension or exclusion of a member country. Russia should have been suspended from Interpol long before the invasion of Ukraine. Prominent Kremlin critic Bill Browder says Russia has tried to add him to Interpol's wanted list eight times. He was arrested in Spain in 2018, sparking a global outcry. And it was only because I tweeted out when I was being arrested that a whole international firestorm was created. But for a lot of people, that wouldn't happen. <laughs> Russia's political opponents say every time they cross a border, they risk arrest or worse. But Grabinchikov won't be silenced. That's the way I feel, you know. I can't conceal that. If you keep silent, it's still corrosive from inside. Jeff Semple, Global News, Toronto.